cashless digital society. A cashless digital society. All praise is glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Racha, Kadash, Brachatam. The bottom of my apostles, a great millstone. Salutations to the acumen of the four corners of the earth who's pushing this truth in all sincerity. Love, diligence, respect, fear, and trembling. This is like Tazawan coming back with another human spirit of knowledge through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is not Jesus, all right? His name is and actually an omen nomen, which means name prediction. Yahweh Shai, which means he delivers or he saves. Who will he save in these last days? The elect. Of the blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, which are known in the Bible as the Israelites. Okay, that's the those are the names you want to call upon in these last days for protection, because this world is getting more evil and evil and more wicked, and eventually the Lord is going to do away with this place by the way of the thermonuclear missiles from World War Three. This has been prophesied by the prophets of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Beginning with the apostles of Great Millstone. We've been explaining and warning you what's to come. What is known as prophecy, which means to say before. And a part of prophecy, okay, is that you can, there's going to be a time where Esau Edom, which is known as the so-called white man, he's going to force the world into accepting the image of, of the beast as well as his mark okay the image goes back to the ancient roman empire with its laws the way of life okay the bread and circuses ultimately those laws those draconian law measures okay the legislations okay because esau soon enough is going to force the people into accepting this new world order society Call us a conspiracy theory, a conspiracy theorist, if you want, but these things are true. A group of men have gathered themselves together. We call them the global elites, the elites, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Gettys, you know, um, the 13 Illuminati blood family, bloodline families. What they're, what system, what the system that they are, um, uh, 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 getting us used to is a cashless society, which is going to bring in the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. Okay. Because all things are turning digital. That's why I named this lesson a cashless digital society. Because the dollar bill is soon about to be taken out of the equation. And through gradualism, this devil has put things in front of us like PayPal, Vimo. Debit cards, credit cards, mobile payments, Amazon, uh, Amazon, uh, Palm Amazons and things like that where money is not needed. Now, we still have the, the dollar. OK, but eventually through what is known as the CBDC, central banking digital currency, that's going to shift the dollar out of the equation because it's not backed up by gold or silver, which is going to bring hard times to the world because something called inflation hyperinflation because the dollar is worth nothing prices go up and people are going to be in a bad situation very very soon that is known as a machine state by the elites okay so we're going to deal with this caste society i said a lot but i want to deal with this caste society this caste digital society because that's what's coming up i believe july the first is when the Fed Now Act is going to be introduced or set in stone, okay, all things are going to become digital, all right, that goes into buying and selling and so on and so forth, but let's get into this, and this was actually inspired, let's, let's, let's go to the origin, well, you know what, first, first, let me get a precept, because I said a lot, let's make sure I add precepts, 
<clears throat> I have some precepts written down. Um, I have not shunned. <clears throat> because the Lord <clears throat> gave us the word. And we must give it to the Israelites. For the Okay, so... This is Acts 20 and 27. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Most High. Okay? We didn't hold anything back. We've been a completely honest. We've been showing you through the scriptures on what's to come. Okay? We've been warning, admonishing, telling the children of Israel, begin with the hopeful elect, come out of her. All right? Come back to Yahweh Bashim I was shot before the days get evil. Okay? So I for I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the most high. See, we go on the highways and byways for a reason. We upload the videos so they can reach the four corners of the earth. And this is where we at. In fact, let's get that real quick. Matthew 24 and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. For a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So this gospel has been preached unto the whole world. This is why you see Israelites popping up all over the world. <clears throat> and the internet <clears throat> basically did the heavy lifting for the prophets. The water Yahweh by Shema was shot for that. Okay, because we can upload these videos. Um, Psalm 19 speaks about the, uh, the tabernacle for the sun. So the Lord has uh, um, a house, so to speak, for where the knowledge and wisdom will come from. And that's the Internet. OK, that message from the Lord, he delivers to his prophets and we send out these electronic epistles. OK, those epistles that Paul was re was writing in James and Jude and <coughs> Peter and Timothy. Those were warnings to the churches to get right before the day of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Okay? Before, before the Lord smites the earth with the curse. Okay? So, the inspiration of this came by this, um, this ticket that I received from the plantation. You know, they give you, you know, they get a slaves, you know, a bone here and there. So we got tickets to Six Flags, but what speak what 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 inspired me to do this lesson, and I have an article that I was given by the beloved Elder Apostle Aram Lab, and we're gonna go into that as well. That's going into the digital <coughs> digital identification. But um, what 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 sparked the inspiration of this lesson is this, uh, what I got from um, the plantation. And it says, please note, Six Flags is now a cashless theme park. You see that? So now these theme parks are becoming cashless. This is a part of that digital age that we've been speaking about. All right. The fourth industrial revolution. OK, we're in that we're, we're in that time. It says you may convert cash. <coughs> <clears throat> into a prepaid debit card at the park. <coughs> so like it. So there's no more. They're, they're put now. When you get to the park, you have cash, but you can't do anything in the park with the cash. So they have these machines, the kiosks, where you can convert the cash into the debit card. Well, it was just an article or some commotion about this not too long ago. Let me get that. Um, uh, what was they called? They were called. Reverse ATM machines. <coughs> and this is new. April 28, 2023. Traditionally, ATM spit out cash to bank customers who insert their debit or credit card. But in a twist, a reverse concept. Receiving a prepaid card from an ATM in the exchange for cash is rapidly growing in popularity. 
cash has been in decline for a while. <coughs> Y'all are going to have to bear with me. I'm going through, you know, I'm going through my thing right now with this cough and shit. So, <coughs> pray for your boy. But, um, so, we have reverse ATMs. And, you know, I first heard about the Cassidy Society by the Apostles of Great Millstone, okay, 13 years ago, okay? And before this term was publicized, you know, because, you know, we've we've seen the tra tra uh, transition of the world, you know, coming into this truth, man. We've seen it. We've seen the things that people never said back 2000, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I came in in 2010, but you know, you have other elder brothers that's older than me. You know, they, they 15, 16 years going in. Okay, and the things that we have heard the apostles say and go into. Okay, I'm a witness to those things, um, beginning to get publicized on the, in the world. You see. No one was talking about a caste society, but the apostles. When we was called conspiracy theorists, a conspiracy theorist is a nut, crazy people. You see. But we've been right, beginning with the apostles through the Holy Spirit. See, the scripture says, um, He revealed His secrets unto the servant, the prophets. Okay, let's get that real quick. This is going to let us know, the world know, who are the true prophets, man. If you if you get eyes to see and ears to hear, okay, and that's only the elect. He didn't have an ear, let him hear, because everyone is not going to hear this message and take heed to it. But Amos 3 and um, 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? It went from actual trumpets, okay, from the ancient world to the prophets being that trumpet now. Isaiah 58 and 1. You can go read it yourself or post it. This will be a premiere. So, Bob Kusha, you know, brothers can post it. Isaiah 58 and 1. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Shall the trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city? Rye, bad times. And the Lord Yahweh have not done it. See? Surely the power, surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So the prophets have the secrets of the Most High, which is the prophecies. <coughs> We're telling you what this world is going to transform into. Because ultimately, all roads lead to the Karagma. All roads going to lead to that incision. This is These are stages, okay, that the elites is doing. Because <coughs> the, 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 the uh, actual money will be out of the equation. Okay, so let's read a little bit about cash to society. Okay, and like I said, Bible Kusha throw those precepts, um, throw those precepts in the cash to society. Financial transactions are not conducted with physical banknotes or coins, but instead with digital information, usually electronic representation of money. Okay. Caste societies have existed from the time when human society came into existence based on a barter and other methods of exchange. <coughs> it says, and caste transactions have also become possible in the modern times using credit cards, debit cards, and mobile payments, and digital currencies such as Bitcoin. Bitcoin is, in a sense, new, a couple of years new. But we've had credit cards and debit cards and mobile payments, okay? Which is what you get from your banks, okay? Plastic. It went from paper to plastic. Now, sooner or later, it's going to be inserted digital, digital, digitally. It's going to be inserted physically, but it's going to the purpose is going to be a digital, um, uh, a digital world, okay? From uh, from 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 paper to plastic to digital and guess what you will be a part of that digital that's what the fourth industrial revolution is talking about you see let's get a um <clears throat> let's get an example i like to give examples when i do my lessons and speak i want to get examples on this digital 
the digital transaction what we just read I know y'all remember this this is an oldie but goodie video um and IUIC is definitely through <clears throat> because sooner or later those lie those uh, hey the scripture says lying lips are but for a moment okay the truth is everlasting all right lying lips is but for a moment but the truth is everlasting and I, I want to get that precept but real quick I want to get let's go in my uh, library let's go in my history um Here we go. This is given a de depiction or an illustration on how things are going to be cashless and how it's going to be in and how the uh, the says it the future supermarket. Okay, this is what Esau has planned, and I believe in this in this clip, the guy actually has a um, a karakma. Okay. But let's look at it. Odie but goodie. Your supermarket. Uh oh. Didn't mean to go Shalom. 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 Um, let me get out of this. So that's the future. That is the future of the supermarket. <coughs> it, you know, it portrayed as this whole, you know, uh, suspicion. But guess what? He walked out without even uh, um, um, buying his buying his groceries. And you didn't see no goddamn dollar, all right. In fact, all of those old, few old '90s, '80s movies, <clears throat> '80s and '90s movies, <clears throat> you never seen cash. You always seen this digital type of world, <coughs> like minor Minority Report or Demolition Man. Okay. So let's get something else. Like I said, this would be a premiere, so throw those precepts in. I'm just going to be reading some articles. I have a couple of precepts, you know, but I just want to read these articles. <coughs> Satan. <coughs> okay, so now you understand why and the, the scripture says, um, be not ignorant of uh, uh, um, anything small or little. This is why we go into... <clears throat> the different executive orders, okay, because Biden, Sleepy Joe Biden, he uh, pushed out this executive order March the 9th uh, um, last year, okay, Exe executive order 14067, and um, this is to, um, um, to control all digital assets, so I was just, you know, doing a little research. I wanted to just go strictly to the to the pros and cons of this thing. Okay. Um You know what? Before I get this, it was something else. <clears throat> oh no, no, this is it. This is it. This is it. But let me hold let me get this precept on deck. So Salakia, yeah, let me get this precept on deck. Because he created this executive order. Um, of course, we know Isaiah 10 and 1, but I wanted to go into Daniel 8 and 25. I'm going to read this and then I'm going to read that. So this is Daniel 8 and 25. Now, qualifying the scriptures, first and foremost, this is dealing with Antiochus or Antiochus Epiphanes. Okay, and what he did um, 
during his, his reign. You can go read about it in 1 Maccabees. But I'm using this scripture to prove a point on how Esau comes craftedly. Okay, so this is Amos, I mean, pardon me, this is Daniel the 8th chapter in the 21st, the 25th verse. And through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. And a part of his policy is his lawmaking decisions. Okay, and through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper. Craft is wickedness. Okay, because he's doing it through his wicked wisdom. He's doing it through his laws. And he's telling you that there's going to be a better solution to our problem. Okay, no more theft, no more robbery. Okay, we're going to make everything digital. So it's going to keep on going up and up. Because once the debit cards and the credit cards and things become an issue like they are now. Uh, with thefts and so on and so forth. The end all is to put it in your hand and in your forehead, you know, so that knocks out theft and robbery. And through his policy, also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. And this is crafty. This whole digital world and how he's going about it is crafty because people would be like, hell, yeah, you know, convenience, you know, Jake and, um, <clears throat> Not just Jake, but the world, they live off convenience, <coughs> making things easier. So if I can walk into the store and grab grab my belongings and walk out without having the, the hassle of money and coins to the simple, that would be cool. You know, that would be something cool to do. We in a futuristic world. Now, we watch movies like the Jetsons and, you know. Uh, 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 um, certain, you know, uh, type of, um, flying cars and, uh, um, smart cities and things like that, uh, on, you know, cartoons or movies, you know, so that, and that's through gradualism. So if we was amazed by that type of technology, just watching it off of the screen, how much more would it be amazing to the simple when it's put in your reality It's going to make you go with the system is going to make you go with that image okay that's the part of that image <coughs> of the beast <coughs> okay so executive order 14067 so he shall cause crap to prosper in his hand it says the world is moving toward a casteless society in the united states is not far behind let me read that properly. The world is moving towards a castle society and the United States is not far behind. The introduction of the digital dollar is closer than ever. And the executive order 14067 is what is propelling the United States toward this future. See, we've been speaking about this. Now, we didn't know what particular law that they were going to call it or how they was going to go about doing it. But through faith, begin with the apostle, we've been speaking about this cast of society. We didn't know exactly how they were going to do it. Well, we knew that they were going to push the dollar out. But they were going to have staged events to further that motion. You know, and that big, that, that big 2020 uh, event, we know what that is. That the 19, the, uh, uh, the, the, um, the Cronus, that was a huge, that was a huge um, event. For the elites to, to push this to push this future uh, 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 um, to push this um, digital future, which will lead to the CHIP. President Joe Biden signed the executive order on ensuring responsible development of digital assets on March 9, 2022. The order aims to encourage responsible development of digital assets, but there are pros and cons to consider. OK, so they want to control your digital assets. This goes into the social credit system. OK, this goes into all of that. And guess what? China has already uh, have that social credit system um, uh, uh, married to their society already. While a digital, well, a digital dollar could offer faster and cheaper transactions within fewer inter, uh, inter, um, intermediaries. It could also come with the potential for government to track every single financial transaction. You see, as the U.S. economy pivots to CBDC, it's it's time to understand the implication 
of the digital dollar and the executive order that is paving the way. <coughs> so that's the end all be all that Esau wants to control everything. And this will be telling you he's going to show his horn sooner or later. Oh, he, oh, they can't do that. The the Constitution won't allow them to do it. Oh, bullshit. Baby Bush told you that that Constitution is nothing but a piece of paper. All right. Soon they're going to use certain events to 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 what to cause to cause um craft to prosper and through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand and he shall magnify himself in his heart so this is uh what's gonna uh get this devil boastful okay when he sees that his plans is going according to <coughs> according to how he wants it you know this is gonna get him magnified in his heart I meaning his mind okay and by peace shall destroy many and that's what's coming because Esau Edom is saying that this is going to be peace okay he's saying that this is going to be okay everyone is going to be all right we're going to have a better solution for the for the world problem <coughs> and many is going to be destroyed by his trap okay and this is a future prophecy he shall also stand up against the prince of princes but he shall be broken without hand okay so the point is him causing through his policy, through his legislate, through his legislations, he's gonna cause wickedness to prosper. Okay? Look up policy. I just want to look up the word policy. Uh copy. Let's look up policy. Ah, <clears throat> oh, shit. Let's see what policy means. <clears throat> a course of principle of action adopted or proposed by a government, party, business, or individual. Right. Plan, strategy. A course of principle of action adopted or proposed by a government. See? So this digital world. It's a part of his policy. It's a part of his agenda. It's a part of his plan. Okay. Scheme. Okay. A large scale a systematic plan or arrangement for attending a particular object or putting a particular idea into effect. Okay. So Esau is putting these things into effect by the way of his laws. All right. Um, yeah, I get it. And then I'm going to go back to that article. Isaiah 10 and 1. Go unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. What is a decree? A decree is a law. Woe unto them that decree or make a un, make a, a, a law. <coughs> Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, which is what? Unrighteous laws. And their right grievousness, which they have prescribed. To turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people. The widows may be their prey and, and, and that they may rob the fatherless. Right. Because with this system, and it's going to go into the, the, the cons of it, they definitely going to rob the fathers, meaning the Israelites. Because they can take your money whenever you want. This is that control that they've been uh, planning. Okay? Well, let's go back. It says, as the U.S. economy pivots to a CBDC, it's time to understand the implications of the digital dollar and the executive order that is paving. That is paving the way. Central banks around the world are trying to outdo one another on central bank digital currencies, the CBDCs. China has the ECNY. The Bahamas has the sand dollar. Not to be outdone in its display of economic competitiveness. Yeah, because this is going to be a global thing. Okay, this is going to be a worldwide thing because all the elites are on board. The heads of this thing are on board. The United States is setting the stage for the digital dollar. Why? Because the United States is going to be the last to get it. 
<coughs> okay, on March 9th, 2022, President Joe Biden signed into law Executive Order 14067, aka the Executive Order on Ensuring Responsible Development of Digital Assets. By nature, an executive order means that the president didn't need the approval of Congress or any U.S. state. And as the name suggests, Order 14067 was, de- was designed with the over overarching goal that digital assets would be built in a responsible manner. Okay? Now let's go to the cons of this thing. And hey, that's why the scripture says, Woe unto them that call, call evil good and good evil. See, they're saying that this is a good thing because ultimately it's a good thing for them because it's going to bring the world to subjection. It's going to bring the world to be underneath Esau Edom. He's going to be able to control everything. You see? Which he can do a census on you and a census on your, your money. Meaning he's he's, 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 he's numbering it. He's calculating it. <coughs> okay? Um... Uh, okay, let me go. Let me go to. Did I pass? I want to go to the cons. Okay, cons, cons. <coughs> and there's another precept that says that he sleep not unless he does mischief. Okay. One, one of the things that Order 14067 does is speed up the U.S. economy's pivot to a CBDC. Whether government officials admit it or not, and that's part of the problem, as they don't seem to be owing up to their intentions along the way. <coughs> <coughs> because, let's get that, they're not underlining their intentions, because you have this precept that says this. Um... Psalms 55 and 21, it says, The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softened in oil, yet were they drawn swords. You see? So Esau can can get up on a get up on a stand uh, at, at the at these press conferences and he can give this good fair speech about how this is good for the nation good for the uh, humanity it's good for it's good for our monetary system so on and so forth right but ultimately war okay is in his heart you see but was but war was in his heart meaning his mind and that's the tactic of the devil they bring something to you that will seem like it'd be a good solution <clears throat> but actually, it's a form of way of control. Okay? Because you got to remember, Esau Edom is powered by Satan, man. Okay? This is the spiritual demon Satan powering up Esau Edom to go and put a census on people's uh, 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 assets, put a, put, a, put a tracking to people's movements in the world. That's the only the devil would do that. But you got these devils, Esau, Edom, <coughs> telling you that this is going to be good. You know, go look, you should go watch those videos on how they be so excited about the wickedness. Because this is ultimately wicked. OK, so it says perhaps the secret, uh, the scariest feature of, of, a ten- of a potential U.S. CBDC is that it will be totally trackable. See? A U.S. CBDC would have to be built on some ledger akin to a bank account that would be overseen by some government agencies like the Fed. <clears throat> and that's how they'd go about tracking all transactions. <coughs> <coughs> now, check this out. Now, I did a lesson the other day. Now, what if people don't have bank accounts and don't want to deal with the bank account? Well, that's why they're gonna kick this thing up a notch, and they're gonna force it into a, 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 a to the C hip, okay? That will do the same exact thing, but in this time is gonna be inserted into your skin, because everyone doesn't have a damn bank account, <coughs> okay? <coughs> so that's what is gonna get kicked up a notch, okay? 
It says, you might think your transactions were already trackable with a debit card or a smartphone. A CBDC only can make things worse. And who's to say that the U.S. government won't take a page out of China's book and decide to limit what you buy and the quantity of it? They could limit the purchase people make based on the income that they know you earn. That's why this is a, a, a con. That's why this thing is, is really going to uh, uh, put you people back into slavery. Okay? Right here, this is slavery. This is going to put the people into slavery. Okay? And that's why um, um, they're going to control everything about you. That's slavery, man. You know? I was going to get it, but I ain't got to get it. Uh, Revelation 18 speaks about enslaves and souls of men. That's one of the reasons why this place is going to be destroyed. Because they're trying to make uh, 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 slaves, man. Modern futuristic slaves. Okay? With this uh, fourth industrial revolution. Right? So it's say, um, <coughs> which I could get that, where it says mark my steps. Because that's what this devil is doing. He's marking the steps. Beginning with the Israelites. You know? <coughs> it says, um, so like it for all the coffee. Give me a second. <coughs> Fuck, man. Shit. And this shit is nasty as fuck. Give me a second. Uh, okay, I'm going to kind of... Um, <clears throat> kind of go through this a little bit faster. Oh, where am I on time? 36 minutes, okay. I'm going to stop in a couple more minutes. Let's see here. I seen something about the social um the social credit store when I was reading this earlier. Okay, here we go. It says um <clears throat> Now check this out. I'm start from investment. Okay. It says investment investment banker Catherine Austin Fitz warns that the Fed is trying to put into place a digital transactional control grid. If they don't want you to be able to use your money five miles from your home, <coughs> that's uh, that's that's it. Your money will turn off five miles from your home. Fitz believe it will wind up being the Bank of International Settlements, the BIS, that will control the show. So look up what BIS is. Or as YouTube account I allegedly suggest, they could take it a step further and assign you a social credit score that is determined by the things you buy. On that note, they could also decide that the business that you use to buy things from from don't have a, a reputable social credit score, and therefore you must <clears throat> you must stop giving them your business. <clears throat> So, with that whole social credit score, that came from China. So, they can monitor, this goes into that, your, your, your carbon footprint, uh, and how far you can go, or where you can go to buy and spend. And if you, and, and you, and it can get, and, and it can cut, it can, um, like you just said, it can cut your ass off. It can cut you off so you won't be able to spend anything. They're going to do that with the chip, man. All right? Now, check this out. Um, now this is, I go, go up social credit system and I want to go all the way down. To, I believe it's punishments. What will happen to you during this social credit system? If you refuse to obey by the rules, <coughs> oh man, I hope this is edifying. So like you. Damn, where the fuck it go? It should be popping up soon. Enforcement. No. Here we go. Reward and punishment. Here we go. This is this is uh the social credit system. 
So it says, according to the Chinese government, 2015 plan for impl implementation, the social credit system was due to uh, be fully implemented by 2020. Once implemented, the system will manage now. Uh, how ironic 2020. How ironic is 2020? Because that's when they brought in the C hip. I mean, um, pardon me, the C19. Okay, and that's what when everything began to uh, shut down. This was them getting that system set up. Okay. Once implemented, the system will manage the rewards and punishments for businesses, institutions, institutions, and individuals on the bias on the basis of their economic and personal behavior. Punishments for poor social credit include increased audits and government inspections for businesses. Like like in Rome, they're gonna get get the tax in your ass. Reduce employment prospects, travel bans, exclusion from private schools, slow internet connection, <laughs> exclusive from high prestige work. So they finna have you in slavery if you don't have a high social credit system score. Exclusion from hotels and public shaming. <coughs> they showed that in that um, episode. Um, damn, I can't think of the name of it, but Elder Apostle Tahir made mention of it. I know a lot of brothers make mention of that, of that TV show. Well, not a TV show. It's a series. I think it's called Stranger Things. I could be wrong on that. Because I really... I, I watch that, but I don't watch that... The, the series of it. I just watch that... um the, the That particular episode that Brothers were speaking about. So I think it's called... I think it's called Stranger Things. But anyways... So institutions and individuals on the basis of their economic and personal behavior, punishments for poor so social credit include increased audits and government inspect inspections for businesses, reduced employment prospects, travel bans, exclusion from private schools, slow internet connection, exclusion from high prestige work, exclusion from hotels and public shaming, <clears throat> rewards for positive and social credit includes less frequent uh, inspe uh, inspections and audits for businesses, fast track approvals for government services, discounts on energy bill, being able to rent bikes in hotels without payment of a deposit, better interest rates at bank and tax breaks. Okay, so you will be rewarded for uh, being a part of this system and being a good, good candidate, so to speak. Just like in Maccabees, right? In Maccabees, they said that that they um, let's get that real quick. In Maccabees, they said that they um, for them to be one. Uh, yeah, first Maccabees 11, uh, 1 and 11, it says, In those days went there out Israel wicked men, who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. You see? So Esau, I mean, uh, Jake is going to willingly want to put themselves into this image of the beast. Willingly put themselves into this this society. They're going to willingly do it. Why? Because they said we have had much sorrow. Because when you can't go and buy food. <clears throat> when you can't um, <coughs> do your day-to-day -day activities. Now let's say you don't want to go to no damn amusement parks and things like that. Right? You, Because uh, eventually, now, now with the VACA... Remember, you couldn't go to certain amusement parks and gyms and things like that if you didn't have the V. You see? So now, since the world is going to become digitalized and so on and so forth with this new agenda, with this new world order, <coughs> how much more in the future when you're going to be cut off from certain activities in the world? <coughs> you know? So it's going to get like that. That's why these niggas... Giving wicked, you know, wicked, wicked men, persuading many, because you're gonna be, you know, now without faith, you it it it'll seem that you you'll be doing bad, but with with the faith of Yahweh Shai, you're gonna eat, you're gonna be good, you know, but you're gonna have wicked niggas that's gonna 
that's going to persuade many to make a covenant with the heathen. And that ultimate covenant is going to get that karagma. You know? <laughs> but let's go back to... Oh, no. Here. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Salakia. All right, so we covered the caste society. We covered the... Let's get this. This is something that... Elder Apostle Ramlop sent me. Because everything, they want everything to be digital. Everything. They want you to have... Look, it says... Assisus, I believe that's how you say it, is it's basically Australia. Go for biometric digital identity. America follows. You see? So Australia, go for biometric digital identity. America follows. You see? So everything is going to be digital. Even you're going to have a digital ID. Okay? It says Vic Victoria, Australia is set to become the third state in the land down under the rollout digital driver's license stored on citizens' smartphones. Okay? So they're going to force this thing. They're going to force everybody to get these digital... Remember um, the real ID? Everything is going to start to get... Uh, 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 it's going to start to increase. Okay? You had something called the real ID back in the day. A couple of years ago. And then it transitioned to something else. Okay. Like I said, all roads are going to lead to the sea hip. It says citizens of Victoria and expect uh, um, citizens of Victoria can expect to obtain a new digital ID by next year, though a six month pilot program will be launched in July in the city of Ballarat. The new ID will provide three options, display all of one's credentials and unique barcode that can be easily scanned by law enforcement, conceal the important data and only reveal your name and date of birth, <clears throat> or third selection that displays only the user's date of birth. <coughs> okay, so this is referring to that digital ID. And, um... I'm going to play it, okay? I'm going to play it. Seven years after South Australia did it, Victorians will finally get digital licenses. Drivers in Ballarat will lead a six-month trial of the technology and its privacy protections before the rest of us in 2024. State political reporter Mark Santomartino. Secured with a QR code that refreshes every 90 seconds and a moving hologram, Victoria's crack at making a digital driver's licence is ready to hit the road. This is just such a glorious day and I just, I can't wait, I just can't wait. But you will be waiting until 2024 unless you live in Ballarat. The mm -hmm. Gold Rush Town will get the option to go digital first <laughs> in July as part of a six-month trial. From June onwards, people can register their interest. Focus at this stage is about making sure we get the, the, the tech right, uh, making sure we get the user experience right. Motorcycle and heavy vehicle licences will be included in the rollout. A future update will also include L and P platers. Mark said... See, so Esau is getting this digital world to be all around us, man. From the money system to you. Okay? Because soon enough, you're going to be... He's going to have it where... People are going to start emerging with that digital. And that's when the C-HIP is going to be introduced. Okay? But uh, I want to get this identification. This is dealing with the cat, you know, the, the, the animals <coughs> being microchipped. <coughs> so, and the purpose of identification is to give up all information. There's going to be medical information being given up. It's going to be uh, um, your, your money. On your on your on your on your C hip, uh, uh, being on there, everything, okay. So real quick, uh, identification tags and microchips. Now this is in animals, but we're gonna be, um, um, <coughs> we're gonna be um, not we Salakia. This is what Esau is gonna get 
uh, um, uh, fuck man, Salakia, Satan trying to, um, take, take my fucking thoughts, don't worry about it, I'm gonna just keep on reading, all cats and dogs need to wear collar, collars with ID tags, rabies, V's, tags, and city of county licenses, okay, the, the ID tag should include the owner's name, address, telephone number, day and evening, and the pet's name, here are some tips, you see, so it's, it's telling you a list of things that is going to be tracking, and, and soon enough, it's going to be the money as well, okay, you have my man Biden, he said this, when he was the real Biden, he the fake Biden now, let me see something, See if I can put it in the other way. Actually, <sighs> yeah, and this this um this SUV this SUV footage is going back like 10, 10, 11, 12 years ago. It was called Locum, and I believe this is one of the first episodes where they were speaking about the sea hip. And within this movie, I mean, you know, as 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 a special victim unit episode, the little girl Mackenzie, she got she got uh, microchipped, and, and 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 it had her address, her medical records, all her history on it. And and what the dude say, uh, Finn. He said, "Yeah, welcome to the new world order." I was trying to find it, but I couldn't. I couldn't uh, um, find it. I think they took it off the internet. You know, he said, "Welcome to the new world order." <coughs> okay, so I want to show y'all brothers this, which is an Odie. When Biden said, "You will rule on that concerning the C hip." Um. I know a brother had posted it up, <coughs> and I was looking at it, and I wanted to go back to it. Here we go. You will rule on that. 21st century. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement? There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that. Mark my words before your tenure is over. Can brain scans be used to determine whether a person is inclined toward criminality or violent behavior? You. Minority Report. <coughs> All right. What he just said. That's that's the movie Minority Report. Being able to track your thoughts. Uh, having a uh, having that C hip in you, to to you know to track your uh to to track your criminal thoughts. You know, and I did a lesson about uh, uh another free or uh, uh free and bond. Okay, so so-called re repetitive offenders of the law, you know, they can, they'll predict when he's gonna do do a, a a criminal act, you know. That's Minority Report. On that, mark my words before your tenure is over. Can brain scans be used to determine whether a person is inclined toward criminality or violent behavior? You will rule on that. And Judge, I need to know. There's no Kawinki Dink. No coincidence what he's doing now. Okay, his laws. Okay? Because once everything turns digital, it's going to soon enough all roads lead to the, the Karagma. All right? So, um. Let's see, uh. 
Let's get where I'm at. Okay, hour. I'm finna end it. Um, it was something that I wanted to actually get as well. I have a mention of a census because this is another um, tracking. Okay. I believe the scripture it says census. No, in Maccabees. But you know it's fine. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna end it off here. Um, I just want to pull up this real quick because I, I made mention of it a few times. Fourth. <clears throat> Fourth Industrial Revolution. The Fourth Industrial Revolution. The Fourth Industrial Revolution represents a fundamental change in the way we live, work, and relate to one another. It is a new a chapter in human development enabled by extraordinary technology advances com com commensurate with those of the first second and third industrial revolutions these advances are merging the physical digital and biological worlds in ways that create both huge promise and potential peril see physical digital and biological Okay, biologic. With people. What the hell? Okay. These are the advances are merging the physical, digital, and biological worlds in the way we create both huge promise and potential peril. The speed, breadth, and depth of this revolution is forcing us to rethink how countries develop, how organizations create value, and even what if means to be human. The fourth industrial revolution is about more than just technology driven by change. It is an opportunity to help everyone, include leaders and policy makers and people from all income groups and nations to harness con converging technologies in order to create an inclusive human-centered human -centered feature. The real opportunity is, <clears throat> is to look beyond the technology and find ways to give the greatest number of people the ability to positively impact their families, organizations, and communities, which is all bullshit. Okay? This is a horrible idea. Okay, this is Esau getting into that spirit of, of marking marking the steps of the chosen. Okay. By emerging man with machinery. Singularity. Uh, um, transcendence. You see? So, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's going to go into this cashless digital society man this is what this is the world that we're coming up into <clears throat> all right this is exactly the world okay that 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 this devil is trying to present us with so with that no further ado like you've all going on the praise to see how about she now shy about shim kakadash rock a thumb double on some of my apostles great millstone and citations that i can want to four corners on the earth pushing the truth and our sincerity love diligence respect for and trembling Okay, Lord willing, this is edifying. A bob, a ball, shall it one.